Roku and Apple TV are two devices for internet streaming. I'm in the market for one, so I decided to take a look at both, review them, and see which suits my needs best. Apple TV, you can see, has uh, HDMI, optical audio, and Ethernet. It also supports Wi-Fi. Um, and then the Roku 3 is similar. It's a little bit smaller, but has Ethernet, HDMI, and Wi-Fi. So they really support the same type of outputs. Uh, the remotes, the Apple TV is on the right. It's small. It's like the size of a stick of gum. Looks real slick. Um, it works pretty well. The directional was a little bit difficult. And this is the uh, Roku um, a little bit bigger, a little bit more standard looking kind of remote, not real pretty looking. You can turn it sideways and use it like a Wii remote because it does support games. And there's also this nice uh, jack on the side to plug in earbuds so you can listen through earbuds and not through your speakers. I'm going to take a look at the Apple TV first. Uh, when you uh, launch Apple TV, this is you know, your home screen. And these are the only apps that you that it comes with. Uh, MLB TV, NBA, YouTube, you can see Netflix, Hulu Plus, no Amazon Prime here. Um, just scrolling through TV shows, movies up top, those are all things you can rent. Uh, music, this is where you can link your musical uh, library from iTunes. And computers, you can do home sharing. As you can see, I didn't have home sharing on, so I actually just show here that you, you go over to iTunes on your PC and turn on home sharing. And then this allows you to see your music that you have on your computer on iTunes uh, through Apple TV. Uh, another cool feature is called AirPlay. You can see I ha actually have my iPad down here. And I'm going to launch um, the soccer application and watch a soccer game on my iPad. And you can uh, you use what they call AirPlay to basically display what is on Apple iPad to Apple TV. You can see I selected Apple TV. And it goes blank there. And then now it displays... Um, on my TV, what is playing on actually my iPad. So that's a really neat feature, and that kind of gets you around the whole apps situation where there's not so many apps, but you can see here I'm, I'm looking at the Food Network on my Apple TV, I mean, excuse me, my iPad. I use AirPlay, and boom, there's a, a television show that was on my um, iPad being displayed on the Apple TV and also you can see here's pictures on my Apple on my iPad excuse me and I can view them here and then I can hit the airplay button and then I can uh, you know display them on uh, my television so that's a, that's a really nice feature that I, I did like uh, the other thing I'm looking at here um, you know, it has movies to rent, and the kind of one neat thing I did find interesting is that um, they do have every week a uh, discounted uh, movie of the week for 99 cents, and uh, so that's, that's a neat little bonus. Uh, I did like that because I don't rent a lot of movies online, um, but that would make it worth it, I guess. Okay, Roku 3, uh, take a look at the interface here pretty standard. This is what it comes with. Hulu, you can, um, Netflix, sports, PBS Kids. Um, first impression was like, wow, look at all these apps. This is great. But as I dug into it, uh, either these apps are also like MLB on Apple TV or like PBS. There's, there's PBS app. You can watch shows that are uh, recorded from PBS. That's great. Apple TV doesn't have that but you can watch it via AirPlay. So if you have Apple products, Apple TV kind of covers everything. It does have Amazon Prime, so that's or instant video, so that's nice. Um, launching the app, the Netflix application, um, you know, nothing great. I did notice that there is no uh, just for kids option, which Apple TV did have, so I can make sure my kids only use the just for kids and not view the whole uh, list of movies available. So a little bit of a um, negative on the Netflix app there. But in general, all of the, um, you know, what I found on the um, Roku was it had a ton of apps and uh, definitely felt like a, a, a nice TV experience and have to try to use AirPlay or anything, just kind of maneuvered through everything just like I would on TV. But for the most part, uh, you know, um, here I'm looking at PBS, 
So this, this app was actually pretty nice, had a very e easy to go through. But, you know, for the most part of like, these apps, um, they, they weren't anything I was really interested in. <clears throat> so you can see I go through that there's uh, apps you can buy, like video games, um, a lot of third-party type stuff out there. People, you know, develop these um, different type of movie things. And these all cost like three, four bucks. So kind of just taking a look at this, scrolling through. Games, um, you know, Jeopardy, all this type of stuff you can buy. It's like, it's interesting. It's pretty cool. Um, but but in the end, when I, I kind of rolled, scrolled through all this, I kind of realized, I mean, half of this stuff is, is garbage. I mean, uh, you know, all the standard ones, uh, Netflix, you know, Pandora, Major League, all these sports stuff. I mean, this is on Apple TV. This is on, you know, Xbox apps and stuff. So, um, you know, there's all these other things here. First looked really cool, and then I realized I've, I've never watched any of these sports things. It's just, just junk. Um, there may be a few diamonds in the rough, but nothing I really found. So, um, the other interesting thing here was... Uh, that you did play game, you can play games on it. So I tried this out. It Angry Birds Space, um, pretty much works like like the Wii. Uh, you use the remote to control, um, you know, the characters, just like a Wii, and it worked fine. It was great. It was really cool. Uh, kids liked it, but um, you know, in the end, I mean, I have Angry Birds on iPhone, on iPad. I don't really need it on, you know, my TV. Um, but if you don't have those devices and, you know, you want to play Angry Birds, your kids do. I mean, it's cool. It works. You can see I'm trying to show uh, a little bit of a demo here. Uh, pretty standard stuff. Um, I said the remote's got the directional. You know, it's got an A-B button. And um, there was no issues at all. It worked fine. I think I'll get a better view of it here. So it, it was pretty cool, but like I said, I mean, o overall, um, they both were great. There was no issues with Wi-Fi. Um, everything performed very, pretty much the same. Um, so that's that's my my look at the two. I've been playing with the Roku 3 and Apple TV for a couple weeks now. Uh, this is my final comparison to decide which one I'm going to keep and which one I'm going to return. So I looked. Uh, I broke it up in these categories to try to make sense of, you know, really what's most useful for me, and that may not be the same for everyone. Uh, in terms of a setup, you know, getting the thing up and running, I really found it to be equal, uh, very easy. Broke it through slightly annoying because I had to create a user ID and password. Where Apple, I already had my Apple ID, but they're basically the same. Hardware wise, again, the same. They they have HDMI connections. Quality look great. Uh, they got Wi-Fi. Uh, you know, no issues. Uh, remote control, I gave it to Roku 3. Uh, it was a bigger remote. It was easier to, to use, actually. Had a really nice feature with a pair of earbuds um, to connect into the remote, and that basically disables the audio through your speakers and plays them through the earbuds. So that's great for, like, late at night if you need to keep the house quiet for any reason, but you want to watch TV. So that, that was really pretty awesome. The Apple TV remote is small. It looks slick, but it's about the size of a pack of gum. I found it annoying. Kept misplacing it. Um, I'm afraid it's just going to crack and, and get broken. And also um, using the directional on the device, on the remote, um, I kept on accidentally hitting the middle button selecting. And so uh, that goes to Roku on that one. Uh, interface wise, I gave it to Apple TV. This is just really meaning how did it look? I mean, it just looks like what it's what I'd expect from Apple. Initially, I kind of I thought it was a little bit boring kind of looks like all my devices, my Apple devices. Uh, the Roku, I mean, you know, it's got a lot of bright colors like purple and just looks kind of silly to me. So the more I started playing with them, I just really enjoyed the very slick Apple uh, looking interface. So I gave it to them. In terms of apps, the initial uh, take on it was, wow, Roku's got a thousand apps. Um, so if you're looking for just, you know, apps, you know, online, you know, you don't have a lot of Apple stuff. Uh, you know, this is the way to go. There were some that were pay. You know, there was a ton of free ones. Um, 
and uh, there was games and stuff too. So I gave it to Roku. Uh, usability. Um, I, I, I mean by here, you know, how, you know, easy is it to get around the device and, uh, you know, what other, what other things are, are there that you can, that you'll use this for. And I gave it to uh, Apple, you know, you can rent, uh, you know, movies, it's integrated with iTunes. Um, it's really easy to add pictures, you know, that are on your computer and all this. I didn't have to download anything extra. That's basically what I mean, you know, that. It may not have had a lot of, it doesn't have apps that you can download, but there's a lot of other features there. Um, so I just, I just liked that there was, there was, it was just more there, I guess. Extras is kind of the same idea here, I guess, is that, you know, a extras I had to give to Apple. I mean, Roku, you could play video games on a couple, but, you know, Angry Birds was about it. And I didn't really care. It's on like every device in the world. Um, but Apple, you could share your computer access all of your music on there, play it through your TV, through your sound system. Pretty awesome. It was easy to do. And, um, you know, you can rent movies. Uh, it's just you know, AirPlay, if you have Apple devices, was awesome because now I don't have to worry about an app if it's on my iPad or it's on my Mac. If I have a MacBook, whatever you see, you can just display, at least on the MacBook. The iPad is different. Not all apps support AirPlay, but on the Mac, you can open up a, a web browser and display that web browser on the TV. And that's just awesome, you know? So uh, real easy to use too. In terms of a TV experience, I got to give it Roku, meaning, you know, if you want the traditional TV experience where you turn on the TV, you have a remote and you basically surf through channels or apps or whatever, I mean, that's Roku, you know? And I did like that a lot. I, I liked the fact that I didn't have to pick up an iPad and swipe through looking down and then looking up and, and that type of thing. Or, you know, if I my iPad broke, then I'm, I'm out. You know, I can't use maybe the PBS app or something because I have to use an iPad with AirPlay. But, you know, Roku, it's just, it's there. It's on the screen. You hand it to anybody. People come visit. You say, oh, you want to watch? We have Roku and they can just surf through. So it gives you a real TV experience. And I, I, I did like that. That's, that's definitely a downside of the Apple TV. Ecosystem. This kind of goes back with the extras and usability ecosystem. I mean, Apple TV is a part of the Apple ecosystem. So if you have Apple products, you're gonna like it. It's just it, you. It, it's integrated with your Apple ID, the music you've purchased, the music that's on your computer. I mean, it's just it, it's so nice. It's so simple. Um, you don't have to go through trying to figure out where things are, share drives and all this. It's just kind of one button and, and, and you're up and rolling, you know, with, and all of your stuff's connected. And that's nice. Now, you know, the Roku, I, I'm sure there, there's apps and things that allow you to do this, but I just didn't have the patience to go try to find an app that would, you know, find pictures on my T on my computer or, or anything. And to me, that just wasn't worth it. But um, so overall, you can see, uh, you know, uh, more, more more pluses on the Apple side for me, mostly because I have Apple devices, and that's what it comes down to. Um, I really think, you know, if you just want to watch Netflix and some some online streaming, I mean, Roku's got everything. There, there's not there's nothing that's not on there. Uh, Apple TV, Apple TV, you know, does not have Amazon uh, Instant Video, so you know that's a downside of it. But if you have Apple devices, I just think you just, you know, you're gonna want this. It's just it integrates so nicely. So uh, in the end, that's what I decided to do. I decided to keep the Apple TV. I just couldn't uh, pass it up. Uh, there's so much flexibility with all of my devices, and I hope this is helpful. But they're both great products. And uh, the only other thing with Roku 3 is I, I, I'm considering maybe getting one of the older ones for an extra room. Uh, that was the thing. I think you pay 100 bucks for either of these, and the Roku 3 uh, is 100 bucks. And mainly the difference between some of the older ones is that remote those earbuds and, and games. And, you know, if you don't care about that, you just want instant streaming Netflix. I mean, get one of the older Rokus, they're uh, 50, 60, 70 bucks, something like that. So that's the one thing I was considering maybe is picking up a Roku, a cheaper one for an extra, one of the extra rooms or something. So hope this helps. Thanks.